Hi, it's Monday morning with Cheryl. I hope everyone is well. Many of you know that I'm back in Los Angeles for a few months and I'm back in the school setting, which I haven't been for three years. And it's been really fun for me um, to return and also to connect with kids again. It's been such a long time. Um, so it's really been a lot of fun for me. At the same time, I have just seen now firsthand how hard COVID has impacted people, kids, teachers, parents. And this today's uh, recording is a little different because normally I give a lot of pointers and things, but today is really just a reminder. I've had a couple of situations where I'm learning about children and so many of them are really anxious. And what I see is that the parents are really anxious too, just in general and around their, their child's well-being. And so in that state, it's really hard to think clearly and be our best selves for our children. Um, so on top of that, what I really want to say is that what we forget is that everyone is having a hard time. And recently I heard a parent, and it's happened a couple of times, where they're getting a little frustrated with the teacher and just wondering about certain things. And what I've reminded these parents individually, of course, is just like you know, COVID has really impacted their child and there's a lot of anxiety and that they have their own anxiety. We also have to remember that teachers are really having uh, a lot of burnout and overwhelm and that we need to have compassion for everyone. I think parents need to have compassion for the teachers. Teachers, you know, we all need to have compassion for these kids and for the parents. Um, I can just see, you know, I know how hard COVID has been for me and many others who are not working in a school environment or elsewhere on the front lines. And I think it's so easy to forget um, the difficulties. So today it's this short message. I just want to remind everybody to have compassion for each other, that it's been a tough time. And, and what I see is a lot of people who have struggled before with COVID, it's just really been exasperated. And I, I just really want us all to have positive intent, assume the best, and remember that it's been a tough couple of years and let's approach things with compassion and care. So hopefully um, that can brighten your day a little bit when we take a different lens to when things are difficult. Um, again, as always, if you have any questions or comments, please reach out. I'd love to hear from you. So take care.